It's Professor Dave. Let's do some conversions. He knows a lot about all kinds of stuff. Professor Dave explains. We've learned about fractions, decimals, and percentages. And we've seen how we can use any of these to represent the same value. So we certainly must be able to convert between these different ways of representing numbers. Let's take something like 30%. It's very easy to convert this to a fraction because we know that percentages are out of 100. So 30% becomes 30 one hundredths, or 30 out of 100. Then to reduce the fraction, we can divide both numbers by 10. And here's a hot tip. When we do this, we can just cross out the zero in each number, as that will do the same thing as dividing by 10. That leaves us with 3 tenths. So 30% is equivalent to 3 tenths. Now let's get that as a decimal. Well, we know where the tenths place is. So if we have 3 tenths, we just need to place a 3 in the tenths place. So 0.3. And there we have three different ways of expressing the same value. Here's another hot tip. When converting from percentages directly to decimals, all we have to do is move the decimal place twice to the left, because 100 is two orders of magnitude greater than 1. So from 30%, we just take the decimal place, which isn't written but is implied to be just to the right of the units place, and move it over twice to the left. We can never start a number with a decimal point. There has to be a zero first. So that gives us 0 0.3. We could do the same with an 8.25% sales tax. We move it once, and then if we have to move it again but there are no more numbers, just put a zero. And there we have 0 0.0825, or the sales tax expressed as a decimal. This is useful because if you want to compute the sales tax on an item, you can just multiply its price by this number. So a $50 shirt would have a sales tax of $4.13. To go from a decimal to a percentage, we just move the decimal twice to the right, because this is the same thing as multiplying by 100. So 0 0.84 becomes 84%. To go from a fraction to a percent, we could convert the fraction into a decimal first. For three-fifths, first we can ask, what is one-fifth as a decimal? That would be 0 0.2, because five of these, or five-fifths, would add up to one. So three-fifths must be 0 0.6. From there, we just move the decimal over twice, adding a zero since we need to, and we get 60%. Here is a table with some common fractions and their corresponding values as decimals and percentages. We should be able to convert between these forms with ease, as these are all just different ways of communicating ideas that are useful in different scenarios. Let's try and put this to use. Here are three values, 45%, 21-50ths, and 0.43. Let's try to arrange these from least to greatest. Well, 45% is the same as 45 over 100. What should we do with this fraction? Well, if we want to compare it to another fraction, it needs to have 100 in the denominator. So let's get this one looking that way too. Multiplying both numbers by 2, we get 42 over 100. And with the final value, we can move the decimal over twice to get 43% which must be 43 over 100. Now it is quite easy to put them in order, because they look the same. 42 comes first, then 43, then 45. That means that this will be the correct order for the original values. Let's check comprehension. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.